and we are back from the break. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Finn's player was not feeling well, and he has uh, bowed out for the rest of the session. Um, but uh, I'll take care of uh, anything that he wants purchased uh, in between sessions. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, you have gotten a basic rundown of what's available. Um, and there were some questions in between about specific things. Uh, one thing that you will find is that they do not have holy water. They only have unholy water. Yeah, I was... Uh, yeah, I figured that was the case. Mm -hmm. uh, Solas asked about uh, healer's kit supplies. Um, yeah, enough to be interested in that. You can get bandages and stuff like that, but uh, um, like the herbs that you any... start asking for, they... they either don't know or they don't have um they may well, have they have the other th well they have other things but they're things that you're not familiar with so you do not know the effectiveness of them oh sounds like we need to do some experimenting mm. we just get someone to club a braxton over the head and see if it heals them afterwards hey uh, i mean, <laughs> I mean you're always braxton volunteering has, yeah braxton has always volunteered for these uh, testings So I can't see what could possibly go wrong. <laughs> so, like, uh, you can either take the risk, because uh, again, like, it, it might be that it works on kobolds and it doesn't work on humans or elves, um, or it doesn't work as effectively, or it may just not work as effectively anyway. Because it expands its knowledge, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. All right. So you do want to do you want to yeah. purchase mm -hmm. the supplies? Okay. Um, would, um, it's going to be the standard price, but make a mm. note that you have it with untested uh, materials. Yeah. So. Yeah, I will buy two sets of it since I need to refresh both of my kits. Okay. Yeah, I'm buying double as well because I'm going to use some for experimentation just to see. All right. Um, and then in work terms of. Uh, Spell components, um, common priestly manufactured components will be available if they're made from materials that you can expect to find underground. Uh, metals, mm -hmm. rock, uh, stuff like Bacuano. that, gems. Uh, Bakwano, yeah. Um, the things that will be hard to find is things made from, uh, like, fur, um... Specific types of fur, I should say, uh, ivory they, stuff like that. That's not going to be available. They got rock don't, soap. Don't, yeah, they don't have rock soap. Have fur. Well, I meant specific types of fur. Like if you need oh, something I that's see. made, you know, like if you need a shirt, a sheet of fur from a bear. Yeah. Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, thankfully, I think all my spells only require uh, generic fur that. Unless, Could... uh, well, strength requires specific fur if you want to, or a specific dung. Could someone with animal summoning not summon a bear and <laughs> it... use the summoned bear as the spell component? Uh, it, depends on the, it depends on the summoning spell. Some summoning spells bring something to you that's already nearby. Some things actually, like, teleport it in. If it teleports it yeah. in... The problem is, is that usually when they're killed or when they if a spell expires, they teleport away, including yeah. their stuff, like yeah. fur also, and stuff like that. So also, Solas, even though he knows uh, knows uh, uh, summoning spells, he would uh, protest against uh, killing any creatures he summons. Well, I wasn't talking about killing a creature. I was wondering if you could use the summon creature as a spell component and then they go back. Anyway, Braxton doesn't know about this magic stuff. <laughs> totally in the wrong profession, I uh, reiterate. All right, so in terms of um, uh, things, Leva, you can commission the uh, spell components for uh, sending. Uh, did I give you a price already? No, you did not. I did not. Are you sure? Because you bought some. Oh, okay. Just, just a second. <laughs> I have to, I was somewhere else. 
Well, actually, yes. Five steel. Okay, so five gold pieces. Okay. You can ju you can change the steel to, to gold pieces, because um, uh -huh. it's one to one. That's for one. Uh, what do you call it? The telephone yeah. set. Yeah, one one component each. And, and how much? One component each. Uh, so each. So one cylinder? spell casting. One spell casting. Oh, okay. So how many of them can I get? Um, they could probably fit in four for tomorrow. All if right. You, if you come Let's back and pick that. them up tomorrow and you're expecting to be uh, here another day, then you can get another four. Yes, let's do that. Okay. So Go. for the moment, it's four until tomorrow. Get a bunch of copper wire, because that's the hardest part, to make it yourself, so to speak. Yeah, that's true. Okay, can, uh, uh, how much will the copper wire on its own cost? Um, uh, do this. Uh, do, yeah, do do this for me. Um, give me like someone make a list of just materials. Like if if it doesn't need to be worked. Like uh, uh, Ocker wanted some sheets of metal. Um, if you just want wire, uh, make fine. a wire. Yeah, th that's fine. Make make a list and send it to me afterwards, and I'll give you the prices for an amount. And that okay. way, that way you'll all you you can you can main you can keep that list and and just reference it any time you get into a port and you can say do they have this and I'll say yeah it's just that price so. Mhm. Mm uh, I got a good. question related to this mm -hmm. that Brax would say to Lever that say you might want to ask this. Um, the tools that they would use for making these things are they likely to be tools that we already have or could we buy a kit for? Hammering, um, what the cylinders made of? Or it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. You you made a few cylinders out of wood, and that worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It did, but remember, wood is much more likely to break than metal. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So basically, I'm saying, maybe Orca or Solus would be able to make cylinders on demand. I can design them, but not make them. Okay. Not a, yeah. craft, not a craftsman. Yeah. Maybe. The, the, the or, 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 hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. Yeah. The problem is, is that uh, to make them out of metal, you need some. You you need some tools that are not going to be small, really. Yeah. yeah well, don't don't is... forget that the cylinders have to be tiny. Oh yeah. 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 I, th th this is what I'm asking about. It, it might be that the kit to be able to make them. Um, Laftal, do you have? Uh, jewelry making or just gem cutting? Just gem cutting. Okay. Also, so, I found the sheet, the price for a sheet of iron. That's full silver. Um, check with me after the game. Let me know the source, uh, and I'll I'll double check that. Yeah, there's, there's, um, there's right. Don't tell me right now. Magic. Don't tell me right oh. now because I'm not going to be looking at it right now. I'm going to look after the game. Um, Let's go. Goes. But I have I that. right I have two different sources that may have different prices and I will decide which one I prefer. Sometimes it'll be the cheaper one because I've noticed that, like I've felt that sometimes the prices in spells of magic are too high, uh, and sometimes I feel like they're too low. So give me the list, and if you found a, if you found a price, you can tell me where that is, and I'll look at it and I'll double check it. But I don't want to look at it right now. Um. So the yeah the thing about the uh, the the tiny cylinders is that it it, it requires a bit of um, like the way that they're going to make it is it's probably going to require a bit of welding uh, and yeah. uh, specific tools to hold the tiny things and stuff like that so yeah so uh, Lebo will order for um, items yeah for telephones. <laughs> for lack of a better word, and, just, just uh, call them tomorrow. components. Just call them components. Yes. Components. Uh, and maybe. Should... Yeah. Go on. Go ahead. Yeah, level. No, go ahead. Okay, Solas. Uh, crafter materials that Solas needs are uh, glass or amber or crystal rods, and uh, clay ziggurats and crystal beads. Okay. Um, all of those will be available if you do not already have prices for them listed, like if you haven't written it down, I'll look those up uh, after the game. I think they are pretty common 
common prices mentioned in the spells and magic. Well, again, I'm going to be double checking the the prices because yeah. I've got two different sources and they don't always yeah. agree, and I may like one better than the other or something like that. So, uh, clay ziggurats was uh, ten gold pieces. Okay, if I've already given you again, if I've already given you a price, that's fine. Go with that. Yeah. Uh, crystal bead is okay. It's six gold per pieces and. I mean, are you looking at spells and magic right now, or are you looking at something yeah, that I've given spells, you? Spells, okay. Uh, Ziggurat you have given me. Yeah, if I've given uh, it to you, yeah, be, that's be fine. Given me. That's fine. Um, but so I'll, I'll check it. I'll check the prices afterwards. Um, yeah, in terms of the these. other stuff that you have, butter is available. Pork rinds are not. Mm -hmm. um, uh, rhubarb leaves just... are not. Adder's stomach is not because it's a specific type of snake. Yeah. If it, uh, snake skin is available. Adder's stomachs are not. Um, uh, any any sort of stone, stone, any sort of stone, any sort of metal that is unworked or broken or anything like that, easily available. Is it yeah. possible to get cloth and linen and gold thread? Uh, gold thread, yes. Linen, the priest's no. Thing, yeah. right. You so, can get so, cloth. So. If it just needs cloth, cloth is available. It's linen is... That's what... Uh, how uh, the, those, my those spell components that I've listed are for uh, wizard. I need to go through my clerical spells also, and uh, but uh, most most of those I already have enough quantities. Right. So because of because uh, real fast because of the limited availability of wizard spell components, mm -hmm. um, you can do your calculation for uh, the costs for the wizards. It's half. Uh, priests are still uh, full price, though. So, so <laughs> I do not have to pay 128 gold pieces. I only have to pay about uh, three quarters of 100 it. gold pieces. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> the um, and then, and then I'll, 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 if you get to a place where you can uh, replenish just the things that you need, I'll give you just a, a kind of a flat fee yeah. for that. Uh, I was also interested in buying a bit of that uh, fungal uh, wood to experiment on creating paper out of it. Okay. Uh, I would buy enough to, say, create... Uh, then, then it's going to be 10 gold pieces. Okay, just flat 10 gold pieces. Yeah. That'll be enough to experiment uh, with, but it won't be enough to actually do anything with. Okay. Mm, oh yeah, I should check if there's uh, materials for a uh, scrolls in here. I doubt they will have a match many feathers. Uh, if you but need they... generic feathers, then you can get feathers. If you need specific feathers, they may or may not be available. Because there are likely, yeah. there are um, kind of cave birds uh, throughout the sphere, but they would have quite a lot of uh, different gems and such. Yes. Uh... Gems and metal are are fully available here, and rock. Do they have Do they have small diamonds? Uh, they do, but not too many. Um. They would actually recommend you visit either the Darrow, uh, who do a lot of mining, or the Pex. Which Darrow are a creature Pex. type that you've never heard of before. Uh-huh. Never looks. Huh? Those are the who two are main they? miners. Um, they oh. they kind of look at you as, uh, like, and, and, and try to explain it. Um, basically what it sounds like is that almost like dwarves, but not. Like, they're, they're, it's one of those things where it's like, how do you explain, you know, they're, they're just pecs. How do you explain it to someone who, who has no frame of reference kind of thing? Um, okay. They, they, they try to explain you? it. Uh, they give you vague directions. There's a very large cavern uh, besides the one that you're in right now where they live. Mm -hmm. Not very helpful right now.
but it's kind of like if you lived on Mars and someone said, hey, where's China? Mm, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you explain where it is on Earth? <laughs> kind of thing. So uh, they will also say, uh, be careful if you are purchasing any of that. Uh, the There are Zorn in the sphere, and they eat that sort of thing. So you do need to be careful about that. They're not usually hostile. They usually leave people alone when their ships are flying around. Zorn. Uh, mm -hmm. Zorn. Okay. <laughs> uh, I doubt they have Venom milk from Serpent Hair of Medusa while she was still alive. Nope. Dang it. So no one ever sells, sells that. A lot of that stuff so you're you're not really going to be able to just purchase. It's it's going to have to be either a commission or a go get it yourself. I doubt, Does polymorphing, I doubt polymorphing into Medusa would work. Nope. Shape change might, though. Might. You'd have to experiment with that. Sorry, you got way far to get to level 60. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little ways uh, off. Do they sell incense? Uh, yes, if you need just generic incense, that's available. Okay. Yeah, Laughter might need some as well. I don't know about Finn, so there's at least three priests buying it. I'll check with Finn. They, they've got plenty of incense. Incense is a common <laughs> I only need priestly. Like four anyway, so. yeah. yeah, pretty much every every cleric uses it. Yeah. Does that if, if for nothing cool. else in their ceremonies. I doubt they have, have adamantine stilis. Uh, yes. Stylus, no. Um... The, again, they would recommend the PEX. They might have that. Or they might be able to make that. Mm -hmm. Or millennia old mud bricks. No. See all these uh, supplies and crin that we could have got from that archaeological ruin cityscape. You should, would have been able to get them there. Uh, that, 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 Not necessarily that, mud bricks. That, well, uh, that, uh, best chance uh, of anywhere. That uh, millennia old mud brick is actually quite a lamentable resource since Solas feels bad at destroying uh, archaeological sites just to get the uh, scroll ink uh, material. I am running out of gold. I've got plenty of other money values, but not gold specifically. I've got I plenty mean, of platinum, electrum. Yeah, you can always play with, well, uh, remember, you can always money. use the other coinage. Yeah, no, that's so. what I am doing. I'm just wondering if it's a problem to convert stuff. If you go and uh, get something converted, then there's a, always a fee. No, no, uh, it's while I'm buying stuff out of the, do they, the equivalent. Do they know about the juju zombies? Uh, no, they don't. I mean, like, they know about zombies, but... Not, just, I not don't specifically. Even... They don't. They, they don't. You haven't seen any undead around here, so they don't seem to to really truck with that. Oh, pity. I doubt there's that many tortoises around. What do you need? Uh, rendered fat from a flesh of one hundred year old tortoise. Uh, probably not. There are turtles, and there may be some tortoises, but probably not ones that get that old. Yeah. Kobolds and oh, turtles too. I I will also say that um, anything that's a turtle will count for that. Sea turtles, uh, as long as it's a hundred years old, that'll work fine. So okay, so we can uh, tortoise or turtle. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That makes uh, it a lot easier to gather that oil of time. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting material. one. I don't know that it makes it that much easier. Do they have bowstrings? Cause yes, that, they do. Isn't that made out of particular material? Uh, Usually a surface material. I don't uh, think so. I mean, it, like it, it's made it's out of fiber, animal uh, gut. Uh, it's uh, if, yeah. it, if it's made out of anything like that, it's made out of animal gut, and they you've seen uh, like. Equivalent material. There's, there's yeah. a. Um, Sorry, I'll buy a couple more bowstrings. You've seen a couple cow-like creatures around here. 
Oh, what those things at the drow? They're very undercommon things. Not that Raft would know this, but... Uh, Leva would know vaguely about them. They're called Deep Roth. Yeah, I can't remember what they were called. I assume they have regular arrows. Yes. They don't hear at this place. No, but... Yeah. Somewhere, probably. But if you want to get restocked on, on arrows and stuff like that, that's fine. Uh, not that it's a problem for you, uh, for any of you, but they would not have uh, sheaf arrows. They would only have flight arrows. Kobolds yeah. can't use uh, arrows. Pretty. You only use sheaf arrows with longbows anyway. Right. Well, that's why they don't have them. They can't use them. They can't use longbows. And uh, and the hobgoblins? The hobgoblins can, but not the kobolds. There aren't that many. Yeah. There aren't that many hobgoblins here. Cobalt's be too short. I cannot remember how much narrow costs. They're a copper, aren't they? Yeah, Anyone I'll, remember? I'll look it up. <laughs> I mean, it, like, <laughs> like you don't yeah. need to. You don't need to go through all I've of just the. Just took free. Copper. Right, right. So you no, no, don't, don't. I'll, I'll look it up after the game or look in the player's handbook. Um, you don't. We don't need to do all of the stuff right now in terms of like the the minutia. Uh, yeah, it's it's just like if there's specific stuff um, that you would need to actually ask them for. That's oh, yeah, that's I, what this is for. I asked yeah. about the ingredients that copper needed, so lead rings uh, made by chaotic smiths and. Well, you wouldn't just ask for that. Like, that's something that you'd have to figure out. Uh, well, I ask if it's a, uh, ask about if it's okay to use a spell to determine which smiths might be able to craft uh, specific components. Uh, yeah, they would let you do that. Okay, They'd be so watching would, you closely. I would cast a no alignment and go through smiths. None the of them... Smiths would have to agree to that, otherwise they get saving throw. Yeah, they'll get they'll all get saving throws, and anyone that fails uh, is not chaotic. Okay. <laughs> Let's I see suppose they're, they're true neutral or they're lawful. Uh, yeah. n does no alignment actually like it, it? Actually, tells you the alignment, right? If they fail yeah, to save. Yeah, no alignment tell us the exact. Yeah, alignment. it is. All right. Uh, then um, at least one of them will, will be revealed to be lawful evil. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roll individually. At least one of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I uh, you you don't get any chaotic responses, uh, and uh, at least one response, uh, at least one of them is gonna fail, and and it would be revealed to be lawful evil. I'm not gonna go figure out exactly how many there are and how many fail and stuff like that. This is really far-fetched. I need Sandman powder here, even though I, I've no. got loads of it. No, I thought I'd ask. Because this is an unusual sphere. So no chaotic. Nope. Ah, pity. Okar doesn't get his. Yeah, I mean, once Laftal has jewelry making, he can make the rings. But I can't being from a chaotic smith. Yep. Yeah, I'm chaotic. I laughed at least chaotic. <sighs> but is he a smith? I will have jewel crafting. I can make rings and stuff. Okay. Yeah. You're learning. Yes. Basically. What about the silver mirrors? Uh, I'll, I'll get you the price. Do I'll, they, they do have those. I'll get you the prices after the game. Okay. Yeah. So hang on. What left? When are you learning jewelry making? Whenever I get my next proficiency, I think it's in two levels. Oh, so no, not not soon. Yeah, it's my rogue that needs to be level twelve. No, that's fine. Or it might be I my just... priest at nine. I can't remember which one comes first. I just thought you might be good at making little cylinders. No, but you'd be better at them. Not... Than... Yeah. Well, I was uh, I was wondering whether we could get a, something like a tap and die set or something. A what? Um. No, sorry, tap and die sets the wrong tools. Swag, you, you know, you know when they they make coins, they have like a stamp. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, I was wondering if the 
there might be something like that that we could acquire that would make cylinders fairly easily. And I don't mean so that we can make them really quickly. I just mean so that we can make them. I and mean... So that we got the right tools. You just get a sheet of iron, wrap it around the stick or something that's hey. fairly round, and then you just hammer on the end that's been heated so it glues together. That's a cylinder for you. You, you know, they have, they have things that put... Um, Things that look solid. like rivets, things that put rivet, things like rivets onto shoes and stuff. Yeah, keep in mm. mind again that we're talking about medieval technology here. Yeah, you're, you're going to need more. You're going to need <laughs> facilities on the ship for anything like that. Yeah, and I don't yeah. know how much space you have for that on your ship. Yeah, there, there's also there the is, cobbler there, efficiency. There, 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 there is another uh, way of making cylinders without welding uh, using those uh, rivet kind of things, but that would require, uh, like all said, uh, facilities. Yeah, and even just even uh, stamping with a, a die, uh, a, again, like... Um, requires facilities. Yeah. yeah, it's the equivalent of like an apple core, but for woodworking. You can get yeah, that that's... tool. Yeah, basically that's that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. So yeah, I, again, you could do free. you could do wood, but um, the problem with the wood ones is that they they break a lot more easily. Yeah, so, I, understand, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. I was, it, uh, I was... right, right. It, but if you go that route and you can, um, I would just require Leva to be getting those made more often, yeah, even if so she I'm, hasn't I'm, cast I'm, a spell. I'm not talking about making them out of wood. I'm wondering if there's a tool we can get for getting flat metal and then we cut it to a certain size and then we crunch it over and we make a cylinder out of it. Yeah, I think that you're talking about uh, too modern stuff for the space you have available. Does it have to be wood? Could we make it out of, uh, say, paper? I don't think I'd know. I would not. I would not nah, let it be made out of paper. I mean, <laughs> at five, <laughs> I've, at five gold per piece. This paper is, is really gonna, expensive. This yeah. is not going to 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 make labor really poor. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's I'm, not. I'm, a, it's, not a, it's an. It's more about the amount of you. What you get. I'm. Mm. I'm not even trying to get out the expense of it. I'm just thinking yeah. that it would be self sufficient. I think, uh, well, Leva thinks that <clears throat> when we are on the way, on the road, and we need to use sending, uh, and we need to improvise, then, then we can start to really think about it. She she yeah. will look that she, she can get the, the wire, and uh, but the cylinders, I think, is a, is a smaller problem. Yeah, I, and, and I, I think a lot of this stuff is, is more stuff to talk to me about uh, outside of the game. Yeah. All right, yes, we'll do that. Sure. Yeah. I don't think we need to spend another two hours no. on that. Well, I did spend two hours on it. Oh, do they have any... <laughs> we could easily do so. <laughs> this, this is going to sound sad. I'm going to inquire about pearls. Pearls, are easily, pearls are easily available. Oh. Um, they really? uh, they are, uh, yes, very easily available. Not cheaply. Ooh, I mean, not, not more uh... cheaply. They're not more expensive either. But they are easily available. We definitely need pearls amongst and uh, and lab. they uh the they will mention they have the bigger ones. They will mention that they uh they get frequent uh uh shipments for jewelry purposes from uh, uh the uh let's see, hold on a second. Uh do 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 Um so the uh your recipe uh translator uh will tell you uh, yes, they they get uh, frequent shipments of uh, pearls and coral and things of that nature from Ulagol. Which you would realize is a place. Yeah. It's a place. Yeah. Ulagol. Ulagol. Yeah. It must be a place where there's a large body of water, no doubt. Mm. Yeah, considering this is. Uh... The whole sphere this gave uh, that we uh, exist, uh, there might be uh, quite possible large bodies of water in here. Let me just vaguely ask how many days away does he think it might be? 
Um, he thinks maybe a weekish, maybe uh, give or take it, maybe up to ten days. A lot of it. That's fine. Some of it depends on. Uh, it didn't need to be back. Yeah. It was just a vague. Is it weeks or months? Or days. Yeah, let me see. Also, question about the pearls. Yeah. So, the spells that at least they were knows that need pearls, they they all must have a certain minimum uh, value. Mm -hmm. So, if we get them cheaper, does that mean the value is not satisfied? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that means you need to get a pearl update at a certain value. It just means the pearl is a variable. So it doesn't matter if it's a special price because it just means that we need to buy more expensive pearls. <laughs> so, so never buy from a merchant that offers 50% off unless you are buying 200 or more. Costing well, we, we can resell them. But uh, it's just for spell usage. It's it's not worth it. <laughs> Do they have the large pearls? Yeah, yeah. They they have, they have pearls of different uh, sizes. They have pearls of different colors. Um, the 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 white one and different shapes. It's not all just round ones. Um, uh, just primarily one used one. for jewelry. What's what's the cheapest gem that we need that fits in our tracking thing? If we got uh, there. And any any value any diamond. size diamonds. It can even be one gold piece diamond. Yeah, you don't find there existed. there aren't there aren't one gold piece of diamonds though. If so, the minimum is like fifty. Yeah, I I would say the minimum is going to be fifty. Yeah, it was more of about the point of it being any value. Yeah. Um. I, can... I have purchased one of those pearls. 50, 50 gold, gem. however, 50 gold piece diamonds are not easy to come by. Because yeah, be after them. they're tiny. Left or you, you've got, um, you've got gem cutting. Yeah. Can you turn a 50 gold piece diamond into, it's a 225 gold piece diamonds? No, that'll break it. Uh, oh, okay. Fair in enough. theory, yes, but it wouldn't be appropriate. No, so so the thing is, like, especially you would not be able to turn a fifty gold piece diamond into two twenty-five gold piece diamonds. No, you, but like you, a would be, you'd be able to turn them into multiples of fifty. You might be no, you might be able to turn it into two ten gold piece diamonds because mm. any time you're cutting, you're losing material. Mm -hmm. Lemma will okay. take your cuttings. She she needs the cuttings for stone dust. skin. Yes. Yeah, but dust. you need a lot of it. <laughs> You need a lot of dust for that, so basically, yeah, well, she just collects it on the side, and when she wow, <laughs> she's there with her, her wild, wild bunch of I mean, uh, I mean, of course, we are going to be gathering the gem <laughs> dust that uh, Laftel makes. It's, it's so useful in uh, quite a lot of things. Uh, quite a lot. It's, of it's almost like a so, lever. I, I, I'm also I, rocking my chair as I'm cutting the gems, so I make a mistake. I, I would also <laughs> load of dust in the floor, like. <laughs> Taking like a one thousand gold piece diamond and cutting it into uh, a bunch of smaller value ones to use in your thing, I uh -huh. think is gonna start getting the DM annoyed though. <laughs> Cause, okay, because that's that's it... manipulating things. All right. To... All right. In that case, would we be able to buy uncut diamonds? They would be even rarer. Uh, well, yeah, you can buy uncut diamonds, um, and you could use them in the, uh, well, no, I think I'm going to say that you have to use cut diamonds in the thing. Oh, but, no, I'm not saying that. Right, I'm I know, I understand, I understand, but the thing is, the thing is, is that a, an uncut diamond, like, when you cut it, then I roll to see what its value is, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I mean. Can we buy uncut diamonds to give to left or, and then he can cut it and see how many you can harvest out of no it's not see how many you can harvest you it's take how valuable yeah it's how it valuable is. it is that cut yeah. is, it's like we've got some diamond spider parts i'm going to cut up at some point whenever i get time yeah oh oh so you just get one out of it generally yeah. no okay well yeah i mean the, the way that the the gem cutting works in this game yes right okay got you fair enough I, I thought it was kind of like splitting a rock in two, and you got two rocks. 
and then when you got down to a certain size, you went, oh, yeah, I can sell that. No, it's more like uh, when you are sculpting. I yeah, mean, yeah, I, we'll, we'll I, if, well. if you if you wanted to try something like that, yeah, you could. But again, like, the thing is, is, is the price on this thing is supposed to be a a limiting factor that makes you think about mm -hmm. whether you want to use it now, whether you don't want to use it now, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And if you manipulate it and actually get around it, then, yeah, it's not a limiting factor anymore and something's got to change. Fair enough. So, <laughs> Fair enough. If you can find 50 gold piece diamonds, uh, yeah, I don't have a problem with you buying a few of those. You're never going to get many of them. Um, yeah. But part of it is is also you're you're supposed to be looking at the gems that you do find yourself and deciding yeah. whether you want to sell them or keep them for other purposes. Yeah. No, that's cool. I just thought I just thought it might be that there was a big stone and he splits up and one's worth five gold piece and one's worth twenty and one's worth seventy five. Um we get rid of the, the cheap one first, obviously. And then the last one it's like, oh, We'll have to use that because we haven't got anything else floating around. Right. Well, what Anghamarand also pointed out is that, uh, it, to a great extent, you know, a big gem is worth a lot more than just its size. Yeah. Because they tend to be, like, the big ones, big ones tend to be uh, rare. You know, and and with diamonds and like. There, there's, there's like a common size generally with gems in in D and D because they have a common value, a standard starting value. Um, so it, anything that strays away from that tends to be on the rarer side. Yeah. Uh, how much sealing wax do you need, Laftel? Uh, Is it a spell about... component? No. It's useful in a lot of things. I need like the equivalent of eight jars, no eight to seal eight containers, I suppose. Oh, okay. Um, check with me after the game. Because right, yeah. I used it for like plugging up traps and stuff. And yeah. I just figured I should get some more. Yeah, that's that's available. I figured it would, wouldn't be too well. That means it got easier. Not necessarily. There are other wax like substances. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, there's the plant based one, but that usually grows on the surface. There's there's other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see where you're going with this. Fine. <laughs> some, of it, some of it is, is you gotta just hand wave things. <laughs> All right, it is available, generic. It's just like there's a lot of different ways you can make grease, too, so. Also, remember that uh, it's uh, this is a. Uh... Not uh, our universe, so there might be some uh, plants that grow underground that produce, or uh, something else that produces wax. What goes for bandaging material if they are not using linen? Um, another type of cloth. Alright, I assume that cloth is available to be purchased. For cloth is available to be purchased, general. yeah. Yes. Yeah, you All can right. buy bandages. It's just specifically not the Yeah. Name. Yeah. Alright. All right, out of curiosity, do they have any dragons in this sphere? There's there's a reason why I'm gonna ask. I'm just asking now. Uh Yes, um, you kind of start uh, asking uh, Thrasar and uh, Shupil about uh, dragons. They will mention that there are some. Um, ah, I'm just saying I've got this vial of black dragon's blood, or like vials of... Blah. No, I don't have that. I've just got dragon's blood. I'm just wondering if I could sell it while it's still got the potency. And I figured it would be pretty rare here, and quite expensive. <laughs> Um, Thrasar will say that you'd probably get a better price uh, at the Hobgoblin mm. or Goblin port, uh, just because they don't have <sighs> as much call for that here. Like, they don't have wizards, yeah. remember. Well, they are kind of wizards, aren't they? Not necessarily. Oh. Is it yeah, just a common proficiency? 
I mean, number one, arcane. I mean, arcane have some magical powers. Doesn't necessarily make them wizards, and to a certain extent, no one really knows what the extent of their individual powers and how much it varies from individual to individual. Especially oh. considering there are some people who swear there's only one arcane. Do they have smoke powder? Uh, the arcane have smoke powder. They'll sell some smoke powder. Mm. No, I have a small keg of like 10 uses worth. I'm just wondering if I want to replace that with another one at some point. Not replace, I mean get another one. But there are some uh, dragons. Uh, some some. Fairly it's not well like the known. chromatic ones, it's just like the ones that we're not familiar with, like deep dragons and stuff, I guess. I mean, to a certain extent they don't they they talk about the na they, they talk about ones by name. Um there, mm. there isn't just like, you know, oh yeah, yeah, there's just a couple of whatever dragons attacked today kind of thing. Um there are some younger ones that show up, but uh the ones that are well known are known by name. They all have the same nope. similar characteristic. Nope, the famous ones are different. Alright. Uh, I mean, they can give you some kind of basic uh, descriptions. One is uh, is known to be a bluish. One is known to be purplish, and one is known to be a whitish. Those are the famous ones. There are other ones, but those are the famous ones. I.e., you, you'd be able to understand that that means that those are the old ones, the powerful mm. ones, they and ink the here. dangerous ones. Yeah, have ink. Yeah, of course they have ink. Yeah. So I need to get more ink, so I'm writing my book occasionally. I see my music up, so... Yeah, I mean... Does that come out of my... Common, common uh, stuff. Common, common stuff. Uh... I mean, it is part of my spell component things. That I'm not actually not using for ink actually for right, that. but right, but it, it, you use up way more ink than that for writing. Yeah, so you need to you need to actually buy it. Uh, common stuff uh, is available. Can't remember. They the either have alternate uses or something like that. So if yeah, the prices are generally going to be in the player's handbook, and they have standard yeah. prices here. They're not more expensive, unlike brawl. So I'm I'm more curious about. Like, this is an opportunity to get more information about the sphere and ask for This is a special episode. Things. What are you on about? <laughs> I, I, was, I don't want it to be that much more of a shopping I know, episode. I know, I'm joking. Um... I... Question? Yep. Uh, Lema knows, I don't. How, how old do uh, illicits get? Come on. Um, no one's Relative really sure. Long. Her question would be whether there are any illicit still around who might have been involved in her kidnapping. Uh, would they have all yes. died? Yes, there, there, um, there's a pretty good chance, uh, I believe. I, I think they can so, live over 100 years. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Finn is not here, but... Uh, Lemon was going, and he and I agreed that she was. Uh, he he memorized the spell for her to use on her to find out how old she is oh, exactly. Yeah. So she could then go and check up on the illicit to see when she would have been kidnapped, where, 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 whether there's anyone still around. Um. Yeah, that. So. You can definitely do that. Um, because Finn isn't here, we might want to wait until next session. I was going to propose that. Okay. Next session is fine. Um, keep in mind that you probably don't want to... like. You certainly can start asking around for Elithids that old, but unless you have a good idea that Elithids, where you are, might have been involved in that, uh, there are quite probably billions or trillions of illithids in existence right now. You mean the whole illithid race wasn't on this plot to kidnap Leva? Uh, well, how would she know? She was a baby. I mean, they must have known how awesome uh, Spellcaster Leva would become. 
Well, they didn't. She, she, uh, it's, it's all a bit, you know, elsewhere um, unclear. Put it mildly. <laughs> elsewhere, buying Pokemon, I tried to. Well, actually, I can't really make small talk with a language I can't speak, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Correct. Uh, you can ask s specific questions. Yeah, no, uh, it wouldn't fit into the. You you could ask Leva to to ask him in a in a quiet no, moment. No, I was yeah, but then inquire about general. Yeah, to take hostile, him aside. And... Uh, dangers of the sphere, you know, like phenomenon or she happily ask him. Well happily. She she'll ask him. Mm. Alright. How is piracy here? How Um so you kinda, you know, make the point that you're you're Lay strangers here, you're you're unfamiliar with a lot of it. Um, you know. Uh what what should be what we what should we be worried about? Pirates, are there pirates around that kind of thing? Um you get a bit more information than you may have been expecting because you get a little bit of a history lesson. Um, they, they, the uh, Kobold uh, Schupel, and with you can tell that that um, Thrasar is going to be adding some of his own commentary in here. Um, they mention that uh, the the Kobolds are actually pretty close to a pair of Illithid nations. Um, they're not actually related, like, the Illithids here in this sphere are, they have contact with Falks, trade contact with Falks, but, you know, and, and other Illithid nations that you may have heard of, but they're not actually part of those. They're, they're independent. Um, and that's not exactly unusual. The, the Illithid embassy on uh, Brawl isn't an embassy of, like, you would understand today uh, of, you know, a, an American embassy, a British embassy, that kind of thing. It's more of a a place that Illithids who arrive at Brawl can go and be with their own people, and uh, the local people, the local Illithids uh, can act as uh, contact points if there's some local issue that they need, that, that some foreign Illithids need to uh, deal with. Um, so, the Illithids here, there's actually two nations, and they're at war with each other. Um, uh, the, uh, the Kobolds are actually fairly close to that. They give you kind of a, a vague uh, indicator of where it is, and at somewhere down there is where the war is happening. It's kind of a, not not like a uh, a hot bloody war constantly. It's like rival houses or. Um, sort of. Uh, Rather than like an empire. Y yeah. Well, so they they mention um, they mention the Oluthan Imperium Imperium, and the Marokan Theocracy. Um, and they're, the kobolds don't understand it. Thras Thrasar doesn't understand it, what the difference is uh, between the two. But there's some sort of, you know, disagreement b between the two that has turned into, uh, you know, a, a, um, an actual, you know, boiling point between them. Um, what on a theocracy? No, actually, no. There's something else. I mean, it, it's not necessarily, but um, uh, is this port uh, independent or a part of another nation? The port? Yeah, that the port we are in. Uh, it's independent. Um, oh, the, is there the, a governing body? Uh, yeah, there's a council. There's a cobalt council. Oh. Uh, and they, they would point it to the one of the large buildings that you saw. Um, that's the council building. Um, and, uh, they're, they're kind of a nation, they're more of a city-state, you would, you'd understand, uh, because there, there are, like, they would refer to villages on the stalagmites, uh, the stalagmite and the stalactite, um, within the area, and those are all part of the, this 
port's uh, authority. Um, but there are other kobold villages about the sphere, and they'll point out that some uh, kobolds are uh, have been enslaved by other uh, other groups. Um, the Olothan Imperium is actually uh, further, like there's a. If you assume that there that north on this map is is at the top, and and this is just for ease of directions, there really isn't a north, south, east, west. But you can use those when you're traveling around in here, or when you're asking me questions or asking NPCs questions. And we'll assume you know in in world terms are used. That's appropriate. But to the south of you is where this war is happening. These two uh, uh, nations exist. Um, and there's, it's a tunnel, and the, um, let's see, uh, the Oluthan Imperium is actually further in this tunnel. Um, and they have, they have taken a lot of uh, goblinoids, slaves, so the, the, the kobolds and the hobgoblins and the goblins kind of have a soft alliance with the uh, Marokan theocracy, which is the closer one. Um, and the fact that it is closer down this tunnel to the exit from this tunnel protects most of the people outside of that from raids from this this more uh, violent sphere. Imperium. Hmm. Uh, but there are still traders from both groups that will make... Uh, that will dock at the at the port and stuff. But they don't really understand all the the political intrigue going on between these two uh, nations. Oh, it's definitely making, over your head. We're making queries as to where we can get a star chart. If they have such well, the equivalent of a map mapping. Oh no, they only have tunnels, don't they? Guides. Yeah, they they use guides here, uh, and and guides uh, guides are uh, there. It's not exactly a guild, but it's a trade where pe you know someone who wants to be a guide apprentices one. themselves, uh, or you know, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. if you hire a guide, you may end up hiring an apprentice or two at the same time. Uh, you hire them between ports. Generally, yeah. Sometimes they'll be more permanent jobs and and like the illithids uh the illithid traders don't hire them they have their own people that that know these yeah. things you know and yeah, some of the traders it, it's, it's my information now it's, it's like more a single brain. well no no i don't even mean that i mean um like they don't go to port carthock and hire a someone to take them to one of the other ports they have their own people who know these the, the tunnels that they they travel down and a lot of the the established traders have someone who knows their routes. Uh, do they have library in here? No. Wait. Salah sighs in disappointment. Is that a social fuck for a pool or whatever you call it? <laughs> <laughs> they have books, so... but they don't. The the kobolds don't really have the understanding of a a library, public or private. Yeah. Oh, they have books. They have books, but they're not super common. Mm -hmm. uh, the, literacy is books. literacy is not as high here as it would be on back on Brawl. Yeah, basically, books are only for the ruling class and spellcasters in here. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, do they have a rope walk or sail makers? Uh, if you need sails or rope, um, you can generally get that from, let's see, uh, Terzak's Goods. Uh, he sells, um, he's the, the main big supplier for uh, ships in terms of like food, uh, general supplies, if you just need nails, if you need fittings, if you need stuff like that. Um, some of that stuff is made here at the docks and then sold to him. And he resells yeah. it. Uh, they don't do a whole lot of that unless it's part of a an actual ship repair. Yeah. So they do food as well as the other stuff. Yeah. 
okay. Might go there to stock up. Yeah, Terzok's Goods is, is like the, the main place to stock up for a ship. Yep. Thanks. Sand and glass is available here, I assume. Yes. Uh, glass, is, glass might be more expensive. Um, mm. Amber is not available here. Uh, crystal is easily available. Most things, like anything that you would need made out of uh, um, glass that's not for like a window or something like that, like uh, one of the spell components was a, a glass, amber, or crystal rod, it's going to be mm -hmm. crystal. You're going to be getting crystal. And surprisingly, that spell component uh, combined with fur is for uh, lightning bolt. Yeah. And Mordekainen's electric arc. So any other uh, questions you have for uh, Schuppel? Uh, how many of those rods I can buy? Uh, I'll give you a number after after that. Do you have a price already? Uh, have I given you a uh, price? You haven't. There's okay. the only then price I know. I'll, 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 I'll check afterwards. Yeah. Okay, um, it doesn't seem like there's uh, any other questions, so Schuppel had, had asked... Yeah? I was going to make inquiries about some of the local uh, fungi. The, like, any, like, major, like, do you don't, like, don't touch this particular plant, or this other one was particularly valuable, like, some broad knowledge, not specific knowledge. Uh, they don't know that in detail, um, in, in part because uh, mostly what, like, it, these, these kobolds, they work with specific types that are farmed, essentially. Uh, um, yeah, they will well, say that if, if the fungus is moving, be careful, don't expect that it's not a, uh, a myconid. There, yeah. there, they they point out that there are um, myconid is villages there a, around. I was gonna say, is there a city of them? And there is a city of them. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, the traders mentioned uh, to avoid Fomorians in this uh, sphere. Also, uh, can they tell uh, which area Fomorians are uh, so we could avoid them? Yeah, there is a. Um... And, and this will kind of get back to the question about uh, pirates and stuff like that. Um, they will say that, that the two main groups to, avoid, to be careful about uh, if you encounter their ships are the Troglodytes and the Fomorians. They are both raiders. The Fomorians have an actual empire. And they have big, uh, powerful oh. ships that you need to be careful uh. about. The, uh, the Troglodytes, um, they are raiders, but they have smaller ships, and so... They may not go after a big ship like yours, um, but they're and kind of uh, uh, ones to be worried about. And both are basically always hostile. No, um, both have traders. Okay. But both also raid. Whereas a lot of the other races tend to stick to defense uh, rather than raiding. Oh yeah. Uh, another thing we might want to consider hiring, uh, not just a guide, but also a signaler that knows the local signals. That's true. Probably fit in with a guide. Possibly, but not always. True. So we might also ask about that. Um, yeah, you'd have to ask that at the, uh, um... Portmasters? Yeah, Portmaster. Okay, we, we will ask that when we visit him, but, uh, that's something that we most likely will need seeing as, uh, our own signalers only have the most basic signals that they can uh, signal with. I mean, uh, keep in mind that you're, you're at a ship, essentially a shipwright and temple. Um, mm -hmm. so, they have some general knowledge about the sphere, um, but a lot of what, yeah. what they do is, I mean, they, they build and repair ships, and yeah. they have temple-related stuff. Yeah, well, this was, uh, it's good to ask multiple sources. sources. 
Okay, any other questions? Not uh, let's see at the moment. Temple. We get a, a rundown of like the local religions in this sphere. I assume the religious person would know. Um, Shubal doesn't actually know that much about the other races' religions, mm. and uh, he he can expound uh, quite a bit on uh, Gaknalak the Protector and uh, Kirtlemak Steel Scales. Uh, he doesn't have much to do with uh, Daknarak or uh, Kuralyek. Um, uh, so he can give you some basic inf information about them, but uh, he's a bit dismissive about those two. Uh, one question that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any centers of learning in this uh, sphere that he knows? Oh yeah, the Illithids. Translator. The Illithids. Uh, any other centers of learning? The Illithids. <laughs> <laughs> so only Illithids. The Illithids. Uh, in terms of ones who may actually talk to you, it's basically uh, your your best bet would be the um, the theocracy of the Illithids. Okay. <laughs> so we might have to deal with them. That's up to you. Uh, he does say that there are. I mean, uh, you could talk to some of the uh, Cobalt Elders. He's middle aged, not uh, not one of the uh, elders. Um, so some of the, uh, Elder Kobolds might know things, um, there are persistent rumors of, uh, you know, that, that some people have gone to speak with, uh, some of the dragons, uh, traded them valuables for information, because again, the dragons are extremely old, the, the, the known powerful dragons, um, and, uh, there's also, uh, you know, rumors of some other uh, one-off sages in the sphere, but he doesn't know uh, anything about that. You'll need to uh, you need to talk to people more knowledgeable of that sort of thing. Okay, I will ask the ask if uh, he could uh, say who would uh, uh, say who of the elders in this uh, port might be willing to meet with meet, meet with us. Um, the council is mostly elders, so you, you can try and uh, petition to them. Otherwise, it's like, you know, I mean, it depends on what you want to know. Okay, so we might want to petition to visit the council of elders. I mean, again, okay. it all depends on what you want to know. Like, you're mm -hmm. asking extremely vague questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh... I think the Council of Elders might be some uh, something that we visit before we leave. He also he also doesn't know like the the Darrow are very secretive. Uh, they may mm -hmm. know more than than uh, he's That's aware. He, he doesn't like he 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 has done some repairs on some of their ships when they've arrived, but he doesn't know much about them. Uh, no one knows much about the Myconids. They're very very um, difficult to understand. Uh, uh, yeah. I was going to say, I would suggest that we don't go to the Council of Elders with any questions we can find out from regular people. Well, Old Cause... said that the Elders are the most knowledgeable people here. I I know, but they are important people. So if there's if we go to them and we ask basic questions, they may feel insulted. <laughs> so ah. we we should we should ask around with all our inquiries. And if we exhaust other options, that should be the sort of question we go to ask the elders. Also, the uh, uh, Fomorians are a very large and very powerful empire. Uh, the current king has ruled for over 200 years, which is much longer than Fomorians are known to live. So uh, he, uh, Shupal will, will kind of like say, you know, give you the impression that He's obviously some magic is involved um, there, and mm. that may lead to you know that may mean that that they have a considerable amount of uh, sorcerous knowledge as well. But they're also like traders well, can visit trouble. them. Traders can visit them, but it is a dangerous area. There, there's a lot of. Uh, uh, 
kind of uh, fiefs and towns and, and uh, citadels, um, some may be more friendly than others to traders, and you generally have to know and have uh, proof of, you know, friendship and stuff like that and where you're going to um, if you're going to make those routes, which tend to be profitable when you can do it, but it's dangerous. I've got a thought, if we're going to ask around, if we need to go to other ports, could we maybe see if there are people that want to work passage to go to those ports, or people that want goods transported, that we can offer to take them there, and then we have a local person and a legitimate reason for going somewhere? I mean, we also might ask if there's merchant going there and uh, just escort we, yeah, yeah, we could do that as well. We could totally do that as well. Yeah, you could certainly hire on to uh, escort a ship or fleet. Mm -hmm. Since we are considered a big ship, we should be able to hire uh, ourselves out quite easily. Yeah, but Offering obviously... impressive escort. Obviously, we want to find out... Um, where we want to go next yeah and then we have, and then we have been given a few ideas yeah but of course we should uh, talk at least to elders in here you got that water place the other town with the other embassy if we are going to two major places anyway sorry yeah he'll also kind of give an impression that uh um uh Ulergol also has probably has some considerable knowledge, but uh, no one really understands the fish folk that well. I mean, they 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 communicate and stuff like that, fish but folk. but what they how they how they operate, how they they uh, work, you know, what they know and what they think, no one can really get out of them. Are they like Kowatoas? Yeah, he calls them like fish folk. Shik he calls him fish folk. I laughed or tries to uh, well describe it's... to the Rastapede or describe to Lever to uh, Lever to describe. I don't think you it's... know that much about yeah. the others. About uh, different it's... types of fish folk. Laftal, it's a reverse mermaid. Um there you also get the impression that there are some other uh population groups that aren't exactly considered major or don't have traders or don't have much contact outside. Um So there's more than just the ones that you've heard about. Um, I think if we are going to go to the elders for anything, we could see if they know of anyone that knows the shape of the tunnels in the in this crystal sphere. I mean, the guides know. The guides know, yeah. But are we are we allowed to know? I mean, I mean, like, are you allowed to like? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Are you asking for a full map right now? No, those don't exist. You you've you've come to that conclusion. Oh, they that don't no, exist. No, they don't exist. There's no maps in. This okay. Sphere. Okay. Well, then, in that case, at least not to the knowledge of anyone you've encountered so far. In that case, is there? a religious order or another order that seeks to make a map that we can help. Not to anyone's knowledge. Right. So basically all the guides will know part of the sphere. Yeah, basically you you say we want to go here. Uh yeah. we're looking for a guide who knows the appropriate route. Yeah. That you said some of the parts of this sphere are hostile, so they won't know those bits as well, or at all. Correct. Right, so each person's going to know a fraction of it. Yeah, we can't just go with hiring one guide and that's it. It's going to yeah. be, we have to hire uh, guides. Basically, every port we visit, we have to hire a new guide. Well, it's going to be, Unless it's going to, it's going to vary, and, and the individual guides yeah. are going to know uh, different things. It's, it's going to depend on, on the port where you are. 
keep in mind again, you know, I mean, this is an adventure. You're at the very first place that you got to. There, there, it's never just yeah. everything is laid out in front of you right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I'm not. I'm not expect. I'm not expected to beat somebody who says I can give you a map. I'm. I'm thinking: is there someone who is uh, a person, a, a kobold or whatever, who is like? It is my life goal to make a map. There may be, but no one you've talked to has any knowledge of that. Right, fair enough. You know, again, like, there, there's over, well over a thousand kobolds. Like, you can tell that just from, like, yeah, not yeah. even counting, that just just from the amount of people that you've seen. This is, this is a, uh, yeah. it, it's a city. Um, yeah. Maybe there's some out there who want to do that kind of thing, but yeah, yeah. short of, like, you know, really drilling down and finding them. No one is famous just, for that. So. Yeah, I'm just thinking if we could find something like a Kobol planetologist, uh, they will be the person to hire because they would stay with us. And if we find bits they don't know, and they would I, write I, it all down. And again, it may be that there is an Elithid who fits that role, or a Darrow who fits that role, That's or maybe true. even a Myconid that fits that role, or a Goblin That's or a true. Hobgoblin, and you just need to get to the appropriate place and ask yeah. the appropriate questions. But- so. <laughs> I, I don't know how many Myconic crew members we could have, though. Because there's not much room on the ship. Uh, that was so bad. So fired. Alright, so, any other questions for Shupal? Mm, no, I think we should just thank him for his time and continue onwards. Oh, no, he's not letting you go. Ah, oh yeah, he wants to... Now, now, he wants to know all about your ship. Yeah. He'd ideally like a tour focusing on all the unique parts of your, you know, like the, the unique parts of your ship. He's very curious about what, what that high part is, because it's, it's weird. And there, like, there's something about that that's that's tugging at his 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 brain. You can, you can tell that, that he's like, there's something unusual about that, and I want to know more about that because I want, might want to use this in ship construction. Yeah. So Should we give him a tour. So he's very curious. Mm, a limited tour, I'd say. Okay. Well, Braxa could say, "Well, it's a fairly new ship design. It's called uh, a Battle Dolphin." Uh, so what is that? That what is up at the high part? Oh, it's very clever. It's it's a tail with a dry dock built into it. But how do you have a dry dock for your own ship? That doesn't make uh, any sense. There's a little ship in the dry dock. Uh, oh, you see the uh, realization dawning on him as he can finally understands what he's seen. Uh, I'm assuming that you've at least gone outside so you can see your ship from here. Uh, yeah. Maybe gone closer to the ship on the dock. Um, yeah. Are you like he want you tell you? He's asking for permission to go up and see how that works. Uh, not necessarily asking you to separate the ships, but you know, point yeah. out the features and stuff like that. Um, are you agreeing? Some... Are you making Bra- some sort Bra- of other? deal? Braxton says um, we have some magical wards on our ship uh, to protect us uh, I... from attacks so uh, we will have to be careful where we take you, if we take you on board I, I wouldn't necessarily tell, tell those uh, to him Why? We don't want to just go anywhere and get hurt uh, Yeah, but we can also just offer a limited door and say that uh, uh, <coughs> That we have uh, things that we don't want to. I mean, you don't have to take them on board your ship either. Yeah, like, yeah. It's up to you. Uh, Braxton says, uh, "Do you have a ship we could fly around?" Uh, I suppose we could get one of the blades, but it uh, would Braxton. be very, very crowded. Braxton. Arrows actually yeah. is what he'd yeah. call it. Why don't you go and get the uh, the flitter and, uh, and and fly the flitter down? Fly so the flitter he can, down. so he can see. 
It's an elven ship. Okay. We, I mean, we could. I mean, uh... well, leave it up to you. You are the you are the specialist well... there. That, that, that that was just an idea, but you do what you think is right. Well, I I think we could take him on board and keep him away. The prisoners are on the uh, the prisoners are on the reverse gravity bit. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yes. yes. Yes, they are. Right. Um, so, what did Lever say when Braxton said about magic awards? Did she not translate that when Solas interrupted? Yes, I think that's safe to say. Until you've come to a decision with the group on what you mm -hmm. want to. <laughs> okay, so you ate it. So. So, what does everyone think? We either we either take him on board and take him up, and I'll need a safe passage through. So, you guys were magical wards. We need to keep him away from certain areas. Tell, tell me, Braxton, uh, have you... Uh, no, she turns around to the other guy and says, what languages do you speak? You know, this uh, uh, our, our ship's guy, he, he's very good with languages. He knows one that you may know too, so you, you could uh, talk to each other directly. Okay, Braxton was saying to Alvin, do you speak this language? Wait, wait, who was uh, Leva asking? They were asking the the guy, the uh, what's the it? The Yes. No, yeah. the other guy. The the, the, the guy. Kobold. He's uh, Shubal. yes. Shubal, uh, yeah. All right. Um, he is familiar with uh, Goblin Cobalt. Um, he knows Undercommon, uh, the Lithid Trade Tongue. Uh, Nothing. Couple Nothing others. Correct. Nice. Nothing that you, you guys don't know. know. Any? I think okay. Tinker Gnomes are very rare in here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd be I'd be happy to give him a limited tour. And the reason why I was saying to tell him that we got magical wards on the ship is so that he doesn't wander off. Uh, yeah, but you can just... Uh... Basically, you and someone else go there and prevent him from wandering off. We don't want to reveal that we have a magical defenses around the ship. Well, uh, telling people that we got magical defenses might stop them trying to board us. Yes, I or, agree. Or, or it might uh, prepare them uh, that they need to disarm those uh, when they board us. That's true. So, I, with I risk, would, uh, if, if, if... I, I, would, I would rather keep it as a su surprise. I'd be very surprised if they didn't think of that. I Anyone who has a ship will want to the, want to protect the ship in any which way they can. Well, uh, if we spend a long time not answering him, <laughs> it might look suspicious. I mean, we can present the ship, but uh, we I don't think have so... to give him tour if we don't want to. I'm sorry, but I think Braxton, uh, Braxton knows, as, as the shipmaster, uh, I think Braxton knows what he can show the other guy and what he can't. I've, I trust Braxton to, to, to not uh, lead him to and introduce the guy to the prisoners and stuff like we, that. We don't need to say magical defenses either. We can just say, don't, co don't kobolds have defenses, traps and stuff? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can just you can just say that you are giving limited tour and just follow the guide. I want to tell him that he has to stick to the route because of our yeah, defense. You can you can you can imply Braxton. that you have to stay with the guide. Braxton, just tell me, just tell Leva what she has to translate. Yeah. Um, so to say that we can give him a limited tour, uh, but there are defenses on our ship, and I don't want to take him to places where he would get hurt. Okay, they got translates that. Uh, he says, um, "Oh yes, that's that's fine. I I just want to see the uh, uh, unique construction elements." Yes. Okay. Uh, so um, we can take him to uh, the 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 fore deck downstairs, and then we'll take him upstairs and show him the the top ship. Okay. Just how it, how it fits on, but we won't take him inside. So okay. he'll see a little bit of the inside. All right, um, and you don't have any uh, 
any magical uh, wards protecting any of the route between those two, correct? Well, that's what I was asking the others. <laughs> I'm just no, he's, a, he's, he's not the Minotaur, is he? No. So There's also a terrorist, and not, not just a symbol. And uh, yes. the glyphs are uh, for evil creatures and such. Yeah, will that hit? Will that one on the middle of the ship hit him? There's one that's like in the hold or something. I on the map. Be surprised because you are accompanying him, and you're not being forced. And uh, Leva is there too. Mm, well, if the if the thing says it attacks evil people, it will attack him if it gets if he gets near it. If he's evil. If he's it. Yeah. If he's evil, so. There's, um, uh, could I see the, the ship map for a, a, a moment? Or sure. There's a, there's one of those letters someone wrote in the middle of the ship that I'm worried about whether that's, where is it? Yeah, there's an S. There's an S in here. See the S I'm ping pinging on the lower cargo deck. I don't know how far that S protects. Because uh, I'm figuring, I'm figuring that we we bring him in on the on the the uh, the front bit, the command deck where the weapons are, and then we take him up the stairs. Okay. And I, I yeah, yeah, that's inside the library that uh, that would not be affected by just going up the stairs. Cool. So we got to take him to the upper cargo deck to get to. Um, the ladders that go up to the surveillance deck. Right, if we got anything in the upper cargo deck that we need to hide, I suppose it's just crates, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you'd, you'd have anything uh, in there secured anyway, and that might include uh, uh, canvas over it and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we wouldn't take him through the main bit of the ship, we'd just take him up the stairs and show him how the two ships fit together. Okay. Uh, I am seeing access door on the shuttle for one. I assume that's, uh, like, access door which shuttle? Yeah, that's yeah I have that one. written yeah. down. I don't have a, a, an exact location for that, though. So whose is that? Yeah. It's a glyph of warding, so it's got to be, um, uh, Laftel's or Solus's. Uh, Laftel? It's a... Does that mean it's this door here? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Left alley are muted. Did he say that he was stepping away? Mm -mm. Mm, don't see anything about that. Mm -hmm. Well, Left like he must have stepped away. Um, I, I guess okay, as long well, as you don't take him into any part of the uh, the shuttle, that would probably be okay. Yeah, I was thinking of taking him up to the surveillance deck, and then we look over the ship and how it fits in. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, safe then. And um, he has uh, many, many questions uh, for you. <laughs> Going through uh, um, Ethrasar and Leva to you. Uh, but he is very interested in, in how that is uh, put together. Yeah. Uh, and very interested, in, and y you can tell that he has a, a very keen interest in, in how that's uh, designed. Yeah. And he Bra thanks, Bra you, Bra thanks you uh, quite profusely once you uh, escort him off the ship, unless you have something yeah. specific that you want to t talk to him about. Well, I was going to say, Braxton would say that Obviously, you're a better carpenter than me, and I'm still learning how to design ships. If there's anything he doesn't explain fully, okay. Um, sort of basically passing off. I don't know how to do that yet. Yeah. <laughs> if there's anything he doesn't want to tell, yeah. All right. Yeah, he uh, he thanks you profusely, and uh, kind of says that. Uh, it gives him many ideas on uh, ship construction. So yeah. he's very so thankful. Braxton asks him if they um, are able to grow 
the mushrooms into certain shapes for making things like kills, or if if it's all done with planks. Yeah, it's all done with planks. Like like with like with wood. Yeah, it's all basically standard wood. Right. But mushroom wood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they uh, they get some some mushrooms that grow over a hundred feet tall. Yeah. Braxton and say we've had encounters with a couple of races that that grow things into certain shapes. Oh yes, yes. Legends speak of uh, of the Great War and and the. Uh, the evil villains who had grown ships like that. Is that what you're speaking of? I, I think that they are they they are friendly with you your kind. Uh, yeah, we've we've seen a couple of these ships in the past. Yes, yes. I, I've heard about them. I've always wanted to see how they they have their ships made. Uh but uh uh None are around, unfortunately. Yeah. A lot of people tend to keep certain things secret. I would love to see everything. Well, uh, I, I met some beavers that were carpenters. That was, that was fascinating. Did they build Gigantic. ships? Didn't build ships, but they were like, Braxton holds his arms out, like very big, very big beavers. No hands, and yet eight master carpenters. I mean, they weren't that big. Yeah, like, they weren't nice. that big, much bigger than you. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, why I said he was uh, holding his hands yeah. out. And they did had did have had since they wielded clubs. Yeah. Alright, okay. But, like, yeah. Ah, but they didn't build ships? Uh that's... He seems very no, disappointed. True. Very disappointed that, that these uh, great carpenters that you speak of didn't build ships. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, sadly, they were very content with their own plat their own world, and uh, content to stay there and build things that would stay on the ground. Well, I I hope to uh, one day see some more uh, uh, the unusual ships that your uh, your people build. If this is anything to go by, um, yeah. Well, if we learn the route back, perhaps we'll come out this way again one day. Oh, that would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. I'd love to uh, examine how they're built. Hmm. Are there any unusual ships that you you build? Oh, not too many. Uh, he mentions a couple. Like you get the impression that mostly what he builds are the the classic styles. Uh, he he laments right. a little bit that there aren't that many um, people around who want to take a risk on a new design. Yeah, yeah. Braxton says he's he's heard stories of people building ships where the gravity plane was in the wrong place, and they had to pull the whole ship apart. But he's never seen that himself personally, and and says says that yeah, the the people are a bit worried about making new designs. Maybe maybe one day you or I will learn to make a new ship like this one. Indeed, indeed. Uh, he is content to uh, leave you to your other. Uh... At tasks at that point, but he does thank you again for uh, giving you a bit of a giving him a bit of a tour. Yeah. Oh, Braxton will ask before he goes. Does does he know of anyone that makes magical shipbuilding tools? Uh, no. Uh, best bet, I suppose, would be the arcane. Okay. Thank you very much. And he uh, heads back to the protector's docks to get back to his work. Uh, any? Do you have a, a next stop? Uh, this has probably been about two hours at this point, if not more. Time for Leva to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do we she have has to give no up? more. She has no more uh, polymorphs. Right. So that's it for today. Okay. Okay. Um, and Laftu seem to have disappeared. It's weird. Do you uh, and and there's no one else who like you, you need to be involved in the translation, huh? Yeah. 
Solas could do tongues for a while, but it's far much shorter than than the. Did we hear laughter? I'm here, oh, so if you want, you can borrow my hat as long as you give it back. Don't go losing we it. We were uh, asking you earlier. Sorry, I had stuff I needed to. Mm -hmm. So I no longer rem remember that what we needed him for. Yeah. Well, it's oh, we needed to now. know what the ward was on on one of the doors. Oh yeah. No, where where it was the one on the uh, uh, shuttle? It's on the character sheets of the ships. Uh, the bomb. And... <laughs> well, I have listed the uh, access. Uh, let's see, what was it? Um... Oh, nope, actually, I missed a word. Helm's room, access door. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, that was out of the way. Oh. I, I was just looking at access door, and I was like, I'm not sure which door it is. I missed the word. All right, never mind. That was, that was well out of the way. Um, yeah, if you wanted to uh, lend the uh, hat to Leva. Is it something you really want to do? Thrasar might look at you oddly, because you're going to look different, though. <laughs> uh, couldn't she make herself look the same as she was before? Mostly? Not specifically. I mean, you can try to get your close. Your voice is not going to be the same. Yeah, your voice is going to be different, because your voice is going to be your own voice. Oh. Uh, well, there's nothing... Is is uh, is anyone anybody else <clears throat> need uh, is there anyone else who needs to go to the quote city now today? Don't need to no. Or could we do that the rest tomorrow? It seems like tomorrow is no one's saying anything. So mm -hmm. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. uh, Braxton, yeah. uh, anything that yeah. you need. In the city today, or can it wait till tomorrow? Um, we might need some food and stuff like that. I'll have to calculate that. I'm. If you don't think like if you don't know you need food, you don't need food. Like okay. that, a day is going to make a difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially, no, if, especially if we've been running low, so us would have casted to create food and water. Well, so we'd love to. No, but to you need to out. mention that you're doing that as. Yeah, oh, no, well, because it has been um, brought have, up that with that low. Right. Yeah, I have brought it up if uh, we need food or solas would do okay. that. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Hang on, because always asking me. Um, I'll, I'll translate it. It just happens to be the salesman for the arcane. So maybe Braxton could ask him if he's coming back tomorrow, if he could find out if they have any magical shipbuilding tools. And how much does today cost? Um, that'll be three silver pieces, uh, for today, because oh. it was, uh, around two hours, uh, and so last base, that... they're always going to oh, be man. a little bit more. Hey. Um, he, he'll check for, uh, such things. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, when we're running out of food all the time, are you taking into consideration our barrel of endless soap pork? Uh, that's emergency food. Yeah, I know. We can use that. We can water down the food. You should be... Well, not sure that it's right. It's... Sh it sh well. Do you mean emergency food? Do you mean Solas can't have his uh, daily... Morning back. Pork, uh, ...snacks? It doesn't taste wonderful from what I understand. Yeah, so but... Making, so, from what I understand, making the crew eat it all the time would make them less happy. I mean, uh, you can uh, use it in cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that barrel of endless pork supposed to be less tasty than normal pork? Uh, because it's heavily salted. Yeah. Do you wash it's, the salt out? Uh, yeah. Right, but I mean, washing washing the salt off is also going to change the flavor. Let me see if there if it said anything specific, or if it was just a general thing. Give me a second. I mean, you yeah. could use it in cooking and not add any additional yeah. salt. <clears throat> well, yeah, but what I'm what I'm thinking, and Ord's going to look it up. What I'm thinking is that will keep us alive, but 
we also have to keep our crew happy. Yeah. If we don't pay them properly, if we give them horrible food, if we don't treat them nicely, if they get injured, or I mean, if, I mean, if we don't, not... if we don't, if we don't pay their family if they die, and that's sort of I thing. I mean, it's it's not like we're we feed them just uh, uh, this old pork. I, I I know, I know. If it's part of whole meal, I doubt it makes that much of a happiness penalty. <laughs> Once the salt is scraped, shaken, and dissolved off, the meat can be cooked, rendering a safe, although somewhat salty meal. Yeah, right. that's what it says. So it's salty. Now, yeah. so uh, you. You can um Wait, is that salt salvageable? <laughs> it depends on what you need it for. It depends on what you need it for. It's it's no, not no, going to my, be pure uh, salt. No, it's for my spell of sacred privacy where I just pour bags of salt. Yes. Yeah. It would be salvageable for that. Right, that's good. Like that means I... a slight taste of bacon. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Your spell would reflect that. <laughs> It just uh, means if... our campsite's got a slight bacon smell to it for some reason. So, well, not bacon, it's pork. Wow. Um, so, what you can do is, um, yeah. e like, you could use half of what it can produce um, and thus spread it out to everyone, meaning that there's a little bit of this salt pork that has been, you know, so that they're getting less salt and less of the yeah. pork from the barrel, and more of whatever you have on hand. Um, yeah. And that would, uh, you know, even out the um, uh, the the salt flavor and, and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they also don't have pork in this system. If we Aye. only if we only uh, <laughs> fed them the. <laughs> Uh, salted pork, then, then I would understand if people were hey. unhappy. But oh, if, uh... hang, hang on, hang on. Are we gonna are we gonna send off that? Um, are we gonna send off that guy that is in charge of the shipyard with um, a packet of salted pork and tell him no. to wash it off? We yeah. need to get an endless decanter of endless water. That might be one of the items we have in house. <laughs> No, it's you a serious ask. thing. You can ask. You trying to? There is one to... of the things I genuinely think we we should look. No, at no, more. no. I agree. I agree. But I'm just—it's <laughs> like you're trying to game the system. No. Unlimited it's... food and water. Then you want the bottle of air. The only reason I brought it up. I mean, a decanter of, of endless sunburn. water is a real thing. Oh no, I know it mm -hmm. is. So it's so a bottle of air. Oh. Well, then then we have the Holy Trinity. It, do do you want to ask air? if they have a decanter of endless water? Uh, yes. yes, please. Okay, no, go check. All right, there was another question. Sorry. Yeah, since we can uh, basically get a uh, par portion of the salt of the pork, uh, that means that we don't need that much salt also for other cooking, even if we didn't use. The yeah, pork but that you much. don't you don't really buy salt separately. You buy an amount that is. It, 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 you you buy an amount of food worth an amount that pay that feeds yeah, a certain amount number this, of people, this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It includes this, this, it includes salt, it includes flour, it includes uh, dried meats, it includes all kinds of things. This was uh, mostly just uh, that we could get flavored salt to, to for some food. My my point is is that. Uh, it's all part it's, of the thing. If you're using it, the, it's, if it's you're, uh, yeah, hold on, let me finish, please. If you're using the endless salt barrel of salt pork on a regular basis, it's just offsetting normal amounts. Like, yes, you can use it in some other food, especially if someone likes salty food, and it's going to have a bit of a pork flavor. Um, but it's also not table salt. Like, table salt tends to be, uh, crushed more finely than than the salt mm -hmm. that you're going to be scraping off this stuff. Yeah, it it was not uh, not really for mechanics but more of a flavor thing. Yeah. So Solas can have his uh, soups flavored with uh, the pork salt. I mean, it would be making the salt the the soup really salty because this pork would be used in soup too. Uh, if it's uh, just vegetable soup, 
with pork flavored salt. You know, I think you're trying to nickel and dime this. We can just buy some salt. I, I, if no, he's, get, he's, if not, get, listen, he's not. He's not. He's not trying to nickel and dime it. He's trying to. Yeah, is but a, the point is, is that if you're if you're wanting vegetable soup and you're using this barrel, you're making the vegetable soup yourself, kind of thing. The ship's cook is not, because the ship cook cook is making a lot of pork dishes with this barrel of salt pork. So, like, my, my point is is that you'll need to figure out, you know, there's a, there's a limit to how much you can use the barrel per day. You don't have to mm -hmm. use that full allotment. You can use less of it and just, yeah. you know, and it just offsets, um, a, a, you know, otherwise normal daily uh, amount of food that gets ticked off, in which case, you know, you're basically eating uh, pork dishes every single day. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm thinking. What what I was basically Man. thinking, old. What I was basically thinking is that in order to to make our our crew happy, where we can get normal food, we would supply normal food. If we needed to to start rationing the food, we would up the intake of the pork. And if there were some nice dishes that could be made with pork, we'd throw pork in there once in a while. But to, to, to basically use it as a way to not buy any food seems like... Well, uh, the point is... System. No, the point of the Endless Barrel of Salt Pork is to reduce the amount of food that you need to buy on a regular basis. Right. That is absolutely one of its uses. Um, Fair enough. If you... You know... If you actually want to make that a thing where you're worried about the, uh, the crew liking this, you should still use it fairly regularly, at least you know, yeah. at least every couple days. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It uh, still reduces the overhead. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you should be using it very regularly to reduce the amount of uh, food that you need to purchase, or to extend the um, yeah. the life of the food that you do purchase. Uh, and I'll mm -hmm. leave that to you to decide how much you want to do. That barrel uh -huh. of salt pork cannot feed your entire crew daily. Anyway, right, sure. like it cannot do that. It is not enough. He heavily salted meat is, is and was something that was quite commonly eaten when uh, meat was eaten in, during medieval right. times and such. Okay, right. well, I'll I'll have a chat with you sometime off game because um, from my sheet that I'm still working on, I would say it's like the barrel of salt pork manufactures food yeah every day well i i would i would just uh we we can figure out the um the yeah, specific yeah we don't have to talk it. about it in the stream yeah um but i uh, you do need to you definitely need to figure all this out before you leave the sphere yeah uh and ideally before you leave this port, because you are looking at days uh, of travel, and it, that is going to determine how much you want to buy uh, every time you go to a port. Yeah. Which also means how much money we spend. Yep. So, um, I, I would like that to be done sooner rather than later, because to be perfectly yeah, honest, okay. this also should have been done years ago. Well, I'll talk to you about <laughs> so, this outside the yeah. game. Okay, so um, any anything else that you want to ask the uh, the Rastapede Thrasar about to check out? He'll check for uh, um, a, a decanter of endless water. Um, I wonder if there's some. Well, he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to get magical bows. He does ship items. Um, copper wire. Copper wire. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, I mean not normal stuff. Uh, the, he, oh. he'll. Okay. Um, and, and again, keep in mind that the um, the arcane primarily sell ship related magic items. Yeah. Um. Brax's, and again, keep Brax's in mind they're, spy they're glass. It's a normal spy glass, isn't it? Yeah. Do they have any magical spy glasses? He'll take a look. Okay. Anyone have anything else? Is there anything we could use for our helmsman? Uh, again, it's ship-related stuff. 
So like they yeah. have magic wep- they have magic ship weapons and stuff like that, and magic ammo. Well, we we managed to get a ring, didn't we? That makes you go faster. Gives you another SR. SR. Yeah. You've had that. Rhaegar was yeah. so disappointed about identifying that. <laughs> That's a cool item to have. It's also a common item. All right. So it sounds like uh, nothing else. All right. He'll uh, he'll return the next day. Do you want uh, him to come in the morning? Yes. Uh, Not too early, though. Yeah. Uh, let's so, see. Nine, Eleven, it's... Eleven, it's three hours. <laughs> yeah, the afternoon's maybe an hour. I don't know. Okay, um, mid-morning kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many, how many times can you learn that spell, Lever? Three times. Which three is times. what she's doing, which is why it takes so long, because she, was, yeah. she gets rid of one and learns it three times. Okay. What was your other fourth level spell? Mm-hmm. Oh, that means I can't get your improved identifier. Oh, well, never mind. What? Uh, it's not uh, a thing that is in a hurry. Yeah, no, it's not. It's a skill. You can do improved identifier when we're on the voyage, can't you? Yeah. All right, so he'll he'll return uh, mid-morning. He'll check to see if they have any uh, magical spyglasses or decanters of endless water available. And uh, he uh, bids you uh, good evening. Um, you can tell that it is kind of, you know, the, the, the quote-unquote day here is winding down. Mm-hmm. So um, is there anything uh, that you would do, that you would want to do in particular? Uh, keep in mind that this is another day. They are going to charge you, but they'll charge you when you leave, uh, when you're ready to, to cast off. Uh, I... I will make start making a book or continue making what I started for a few days earlier during Green Adventure. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that you like you haven't had a full day here, so you're yeah. just kind of it's not going to count. The day isn't going to yeah. count. And or can I use time training. to learn spell from another book? Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, is there a spell that you wanted? Uh, I need to check my the other books. Okay. I know that there's few spells, but I need to check which one I want to now take now. All right. All right. So uh, you get some rest, um, and uh, you can uh, change up your spells for next session, uh, and. Um, the day doesn't dawn. Uh, there is no sun. Um, there is like a very, very low light uh, in the sphere, uh, at least in this cavern. Um, emanating from somewhere? Yeah, kind of like everywhere, almost like starlight. Wow. Um, reflecting. Well, no, it's not reflecting. You don't know exactly where it. Mm. Like, it's coming from surfaces. Uh, like as you moved away from uh, you know the the rock wall where you first appeared in the sphere, you could start seeing more of those. Um, but you'd have to go to you'd have to go close to one to uh see what it is. And the sphere, the the lights in here are are, are mostly a whitish color. Because mm-hmm. we've been in here for like what four days, something like that, yeah. I am checking on my plants to see how uh, estimating within, I suppose, if you this obviously something he'd be interested in is how long the plants I suspect would survive before there be a loss of damage or they start wilting. Uh, they'll be okay. Finn would probably suggest that you get a continual light for the plants. Oh, I can just get some daggers and just leave them on the planted well, daggers. Like, it, it needs to be above them. Oh. Oh, it radiates like an orb. Yeah, but right, but but if it's in the ground, number one, other plants are going to block it, and the plants are going to close it. Yeah, left all um, the And you've plants got both. Evolved. You've got both bushes and other plants. Pla- plants have mostly evolved uh, to 
I didn't think that spell Taking the work. sunlight from uh, 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 upward side rather than downward side. Yep. Continual light That's is still. as bright as daylight. Yeah. That's but... After all. This is not real world. This is uh, yeah. real world. <laughs> now, after physics. Left all. If you make, I don't know if we got all the sh all the plants in one place on that balcony outside the captain's room, or if they're elsewhere. But if you Close make, enough. if you make a sphere that we hang up above the cl uh, above the plants, we can take it down every day and bring it in and put it in a box so that they get a night day cycle. We can have a crewman do that. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, no, that's fine. I can have a couple of them memorized, so I assume two would fit the entire area. Or a one would fit the entire area. Oh, right. I mean, you can I just, just hand the... him one of my daggers. <laughs> I mean, well, just, yeah, but uh, is the blade... Do a... Is it the blade that's uh, lit? Yeah, because I, I, I yeah. sheath inside my pouch of accessibility, so it's not shedding light. So, like... I mean, it's easier to just... There there are some things on the outside of the hull. You could either just cast a continual light up there, uh, or you could get something made. But the problem with the dagger is, uh, like, how are you going to get it to hang and stuff like that? You just hang it off some rope someone's... Yeah. Yeah. You could yeah. have something with shape wood. I don't know, like some kind of like archway. Well, you might want to think about it. You've got time. You've got days mm. before they'll they'll have a problem. Just hang something up, and then it can get taken in. We might want to make the ship go stealthy, so if you cast it on a fixture and fit in, yeah, something that permanently on the ship, we'd have to we'd have to destroy it or just yeah, dispel be... it. Yeah, I'd put it on I mean, something that could be removed. It'd be an object. I mean, I I can I can give you stone with continual light. Besides, if I need to dispel it, I could just bring a dagger, continual darkness in the area. Near break. Again, I, I can I can just give you stone of continual light that you basically make. Uh, you guys can figure uh, it out between the session and let me know yeah. next time. Like it doesn't need to be discussed right now. Um, yep. All right, so uh, you guys can spend your time figuring out what uh, spells you need for next session, and uh, Thrasar will show up mid morning. Uh, you guys can visit some other shops, uh, visit some other people if you want to ask around for things. Um, but that is going to be a next session. Yeah. So, uh, I want to thank you guys for playing, and the XP for everyone is going to be 500 XP. 500 XP! That's good, I don't have to change it. <laughs> there is, I'm going to make a note of this, but I will be casting Memory Rate on Red Nord. Okay. Uh, then remind me for next session, yeah. Yeah, I'll make a note. Okay. That's something I would have done before the day's out. Braxton hasn't leveled up yet. Getting Surprisingly, close, neither is left on. I only need 362,000 for the next level. Yeah, it's not... Wait, 300... <laughs> you shouldn't... You shouldn't need more than 350, though, right? To level twelve, it's to seven hundred and fifty. I only need sixty-six thousand. Let me have a look. I did check that. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking a look now. Uh, I've have, I've have calculation here. It's probably wrong. Uh. Yeah, uh, it's 375 to 750, so it's it's yeah, it's a doubling. What are you at right now? I'm at the moment 387. So what's it actually doing here? Oh, I know where it comes from. It's okay. I'm somewhat close to my mage level. You're at 387? I thought I saw you at like 311 sometime on your sheet. Uh, I, I spaced out for like a good while there. What was... The, how much XP did I get? 500. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, Leva, I'm showing you at 
311 on it, your character sheet. Yes, I should probably put it in. <laughs> uh, then, yes, that... yes. You need to. That needs to be up. That needs to be up to date. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the level, because again, I'm gonna like I'm using this for that sort of thing. The the it's yep. it's single she single fields. Um, that needs to be up to date. Otherwise, I'm going to start assuming that uh, uh, something is incorrect. Like some of the people who had lower leveled characters who hadn't changed that, and uh, they were gonna not get XP <laughs> for those classes. Um, <laughs> So I want to uh, thank you guys. Uh, please do uh, make sure that those fields are uh, up to date. And I want to thank you guys for coming out. Uh, we are going to get a raid going. Uh, yeah. Let's see. The Mandy. Uh, this is part of the Greyhawk Con, virtual Greyhawk Con or something like that. Yeah. I'm... Tomb of the Lizard King. Okay. It's a game. So we'll get a raid going there and... Uh, uh, those who are watching will get some extra uh, hams for critical hits or whatnot. And I want to thank everyone for playing. Thanks to everyone out there for watching. We'll be back next week as uh, the party once again tries to find their way home. Uh, will we ever? Or is this going to be like Star Trek Voyager? We never find our way home until the end of the campaign. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, you do have stuff left back there that you might want to get access to, so, you know, it's a question of how cruel am I, huh? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have to find out. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back next time.